Hey y'all, it has been so long since I have shot one of these videos that I'm like playing around with my camera, moving things up and down, but I'm going to do this imperfectly because it's been a long time since we spoke and um, rain is now coming down as I shoot my video first in a while. I just wanted to get on to let you know, great job. <laughs> great job, mom. Great job, dad. Great job, teacher, student, family member, whoever you are that is tuning in and watching. Great job job. I just read an article from CNN that talked about Generation C and all of the um, challenges and obstacles and differences and changes and frustrations that they are having to deal with and overcome. And Generation C is really young. And the world is changing ever since, you know, COVID, quarantine, lockdown, pandemic. Um, we can see that things are changing but I think it's really important for us to pay attention to mental mental health. And it's really important for us to pay attention to mental health, for us to have an awareness of how our children are doing, how we as adults and parents and educators are doing. And if we have the opportunity and can afford um, or our insurance allows, I think I just want to encourage you to really see what benefits you have in terms of setting up a system, a program, or some kind of connection with mental health services, whether that's a counselor, therapy, um, group sessions, a support group. Uh, if you contact your local church or a ministry that you might see online, I mean, there, there has to be different opportunities for you to normalize that this is not normal, that this is a crazy time, and to know that this too shall pass. And I don't mean that in a cliche, laissez-faire, like whatever, it could happen. But I do believe that systems, programs, and um, businesses like supplemental education that are meeting the need are helping to transition into what education will look like. We will be in a new era of digital learning, uh, virtual learning, of merging and of a hybrid model that allows students to engage with technology as well as in classrooms, in person, one-on-one. -on -one. I do believe, and I've believed for a long time, that education needs to shift and it needs to change. And it seems like the world has just found itself at the point um, where that is inevitable. It's changing regardless of our preparedness, our readiness, or our acceptance. So the best thing to do is to accept it and to really find places to lean in and to find support. I want to just highlight that supplemental education is one of those places. So we started in July of 2020 as a one-on-one -on -one virtual tutoring platform. I knew that I wanted to be the answer to the challenge that COVID-19 was bringing to teachers, to parents, and to students. I want to build a bridge by creating individual roadmaps so that students are able to achieve while at home, while in hybrid, while in the classroom, and then maybe out of the classroom because of COVID issues, I wanted to be able to make sure that we could work together to do what's best for children because they truly do deserve it. And the results of our efforts will show up in 5, 10, 20 years um, in in the way of how the world looks and how it operates and how it functions. And I have very high hopes because I work with a lot of really committed, dedicated parents and teachers who are all about making sure to uh, making sure that there is no gap, making sure that learning continues, making sure that kids continue to find joy and um, enjoy learning. And so I wanted to just hop on and let you know that mental health, mental wellness is really important. It's not something to neglect, although there tends not to be a report card or a lot of conversation around mental health specifically. It does impact social norms and um, socializing. It does impact behavior. It does impact academic success and achievement. And so it is worth our attention. It's worth our conversation and it's worth our resources. If you need to reach out for a parent consultation if you're thinking that you may need tutoring services or other resources. I would love to connect you to the people that I know and those who work with me. Um, as always, I hope that you all continue, continue, continue to do what you're doing. 
feel and be encouraged, share and make sure that you create and um, lean into the community that is around you to help to support you during this time and really for, uh, for the rest of our lives. We need one another. We need support. And so if you haven't already, head over to www.sup-ed.com. You can book a parent consultation, tutoring services, or take advantage of some of the resources that we have there. And until next time, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. All right. Bye.